Hey, what's up guys? John here. We can be walking into World War III in a matter of weeks. Israel. This situation is getting out of control with Israel and Gaza. The U.S. military launched airstrikes on two locations in eastern Syria. The United States has launched airstrikes against Iran-backed forces in eastern Syria. For example, U.S. President Joe Biden ordered fighter jet strikes in eastern Syria Thursday. The American military has launched airstrikes on two locations in eastern Syria, and that was at the request of President Joe Biden. Literally one hour ago, targeting facilities used by Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, used by Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, the US Department of Defense said in these strikes were retaliation for attacks on US forces. These Iranian-backed attacks against US forces are unacceptable and must stop. That's a statement there from the Secretary of Defense in the United States, Lloyd J. Austin. These narrowly Tailored strikes were in self-defense, were intended to solely to protect and defend the U.S. personnel in Iraq and Syria. I mean, you form your own opinion on that. We're going over there with striking, right? We're going over there causing damage. We're going over there getting involved in this situation. And it's going to grow dramatically. When you start looking at these aid packages, you start looking at what's going on, you have to ask yourself, What's coming to America? Well, I'm going to show you what's going to come to America. And I'm going to show you why you need to prepare for it because there's something very, very big happening behind the scenes that nobody is talking about. Please hit the like button. When you hit the like button, YouTube will share this content, educate more people about what's really going on. And today's video is sponsored by Patriot Gold Group. But more on that in just a little bit. Take a look at this. So they are, there's now 900 troops they have deployed or are deploying to Middle East amid tensions, right? This literally just came out, um, you know, few minutes ago. So when you start to look at this, roughly 900 troops have been or will be deployed in the Middle East amid heightened tensions in the region after a series of attacks on coalition bases that resulted in minor injuries for almost two dozen troops. These include forces that have been prepared to deploy orders and which are deploying in these in the continental United States. Pentagon spokesperson said on Thursday, deploying and deploying units include the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense Battery. For, I mean, you start to look at this, 600, $661 billion for Ukraine, $14.3 billion is going to Israel six hours ago. So we're funding this. And what is this for? In order to finance the funding, right? And this is going to include air and missile defense support air and missile defense support. So you tell me, is, are things about to ramp up? Yeah, I would say so. I would say things are about to ramp up. The U.S. debt crisis could ignite a long-term rally in gold. Since March of 2020, we've added $8 trillion in debt and gold is up a whopping 50%. Now with the Fed raising rates, our interest payments alone are over $1 trillion annually. The BRICS nations met last month in Saudi Arabia and the UAE joined Russia China, and India. And another credit rating agency, S&P, has downgraded multiple U.S. regional banks on liquidity worries. 51% of Americans cannot pay their credit card bills, which just surpassed $1 trillion for the first time in history. If this is Bidenomics, increased spending and regulation means it's only going to get worse. Buying gold and silver is the most trusted strategy when you do not trust elected officials in office in Washington, D.C., having your best interest at heart. Call the proud Americans at the Patriot Gold Group today before it's too late. Mention at this is John Williams and you'll always get the best in-class service by Patriots for Patriots. Patriot Gold Group has a no fee for life IRA where your IRA or 401k can be in physical gold and silver. And you may be eligible for a no fee for life IRA on qualifying rollovers. Call 888-341-2896 for a free investor's guide today. Patriot Gold Group is a consumer affairs top rated IRA gold dealer seven years in a row. Call 888-341-2896. And when you start to look at what the, uh, what the foreign minister has said, he issued a warning saying that a top Iranian official warned the, the United Nations that the U.S. won't be spared from this fire if Israel doesn't stop its bombardment of the Gaza Strip, according to a report on Thursday. Iran's foreign minister said that the threat during the speech to the U.S. General Assembly in New York City, I say frankly to the American states, statesmen who are now managing this situation in Palestine that we do not welcome the expansion of the war in this region. But if this continues, they will not be spared from this fire. What does that mean? 
That means it could come to American soil. That's what it means. His comments marked the latest threat from Tehran to the U.S. since Israel declared the war on Hamas, launched a surprise attack on Gaza Strip October 7th, killing more than 1,400 people and seizing more than 200 hostages. So you're starting to see that this situation is not going away. It's not going away anytime soon. But there's something very, very big that's happening that could completely change everything. And it's this. Kamala Harris, she praises gun laws in Australia, which confiscated hundreds of thousands of guns, right? So this came out yesterday. Imagine this. Imagine you're an American and you're looking at what's going on. Russia, Ukraine, you're like, well, that, that situation, that could, that could really escalate. And then you're looking at Israel and Hamas. You're like, looking at that, you're like, well, that could really escalate. You're seeing all of these things popping up where you're thinking, hey, maybe the American people would want to be prepared if something were to come onto American soil. Well, no. Actually, the complete opposite is true now. What they're saying is that the American people should be giving up their ability to protect themselves. You have to ask yourself why, right? You have to ask yourself, what, what would be the real benefit? Could it be to stop you know, these crises like the situation in Maine, situation in Texas, these school shootings, all these problems that are unfolding? Could it be to prevent that? It very well could be. Sure, definitely. But you have to ask yourself, if they were to outlaw them, let's say, for example, they really were to do what they did in Australia, would it have an outcome to where there are no more problems? Or would it be like the war on drugs? Because if we look at the war on drugs, what actually happened there? Because I don't see anything. I don't see any real improvement. In fact, I see more drug problems today than ever before with prescriptions, with, I mean, with anything. You, you look at, you know, drive up and down the street in San Francisco or in many cities, you will see that the problem is very, very, very real and it's growing dramatically. And so when you look at this situation, did the war on drugs really help? No, right? Not that I see. And I'm sure not that you see. But if they had this situation where they brought a lot of regulation, maybe they confiscated them, would that actually solve these problems? A big question. Or would only the good guys give them up and then all the bad guys would have them, making things very, very, very problematic for the American people? It's a big question. So what I'm seeing is that we could have a situation like what they're saying here to where we could potentially have this come on our soil. Would we want to be able to protect ourselves? Well, what she's saying, Kamala Harris, she lauded gun control laws in Australia where citizens do not have the legal right to own they don't have the right to own it, and where a mass gun confiscation took place during the 1990s. Harris said Australian laws proved that these mass shootings do not have to be a regular occurrence during the remarks delivered in State Department lunch in earlier in the day with Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese. Her comments came after the shooting in Maine on Wednesday. At least 18 people passed away and then more than a dozen injured. As we gather details, we must continue to speak truth about the moment that we're in. Harris said, in our country today, the leading cause of death in American children is violence. This violence has terrorized and tra traumatized so many of our communities in the United States. And let's be clear, it does not have to be this way. And our friends in Australia have demonstrated this. Well, another thing to take into consideration, when do people use these situations? They either use them in self-defense or they use them in an act of crime, right, in many cases. And so when you have a situation like what we're in right now where, you know, inflation con continues to run rampant, what, what is that going to do? It's going to push a lot of people off the financial cliff. And when people need to feed themselves and they need, what do they do? They'll do anything, right? any means necessary. And so if we have a situation where you have a lot of people, you know, true you know, hardworking Americans that are protect and provide for their family, you know, American taxpayer, they go out there, they do everything right. And then you have a lot of other people that, you know, maybe are getting pushed off the edge of the cliff financially. Then you have some criminals, you have a bunch of different, you know, different groups that are, you know, willing to sacrifice their moral compass because they have to, or maybe they just want to. Then you might have a situation where this family that worked their entire life can't defend themselves from all these outside threats, right? So it's a viable argument, right? So you have to ask yourself, what is the right option? I personally think that giving up, giving up your arms might be a problem. It very well could be. I'm not saying you should or you shouldn't do that, but I'm just simply saying it could be. According to a brief on the Australian Parliament official website, there is no legal right to own one in Australia. In addition, Australian law requires individuals to prove that they have a genuine reason for owning one. Self-protection is not considered to be a genuine reason under the statute. Further, the nation's laws further mandate that individuals who purchase these 
firearms must have a license and each one must be individually registered, such as a requirement according to the Australian Parliament brief. Contrast with New Zealand and Canada, which requires firearm purchases to obtain a license, but allows them to freely purchase them after obtaining the license. So you think about it, if you have to start getting a license and start registering, you have to start doing this, what would likely happen? The requirements for getting said registration or license probably get harder and harder and harder. And as crime continues to pick up, it's very easy to simply say, nope, we, we have to you know, get rid of this entire process. It's just you know, death by a thousand cuts. So what I think is gonna happen, I think we're gonna start to see massive regulation on this. I think we're gonna start to see a lot of people, um, you know, unfortunately, giving up their, uh, you know, giving up their rights, right? That's what I think is going to happen. I think it's going to happen uh, very, very quickly. Probably the next couple of years, we're going to start seeing more and more and more people. Maybe they're going to start offering money for them. They're going to start offering, you know, certain benefits and things like that. And some people, maybe it's a good thing, right? But for other people, you just got to, you have to ask yourself. I would imagine that the worst time to do this, this is opinion, the worst time to do this would be at a period with record high inflation, and where the population is more divided than ever before with the civil unrest and crises that you know overseas that potentially could come here you have a variety of different problems that are all happening at the same exact time and you have to ask yourself would be the smartest would this be the smartest time to uh you know to give up your your ability to protect yourself maybe it would be like maybe it is maybe it's not right maybe it's not so you look at this information i think america's walking into a very 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 big problem and uh, I think it's very wise to, you know, put yourself in a, a strong position financially, mentally, spiritually. Put yourself in a really, really strong position to uh, weather the storm because we are walking into a storm in this country. There's no doubt about it. You know, 2021, 2022, you could have been like, okay, maybe. Look around. Every day, things are getting harder and things are getting crazier. And I'm betting the next six months, the next 12 months, it's only going to get crazier. It's only going to get harder. What do you think about it? Drop below, have a conversation about this. And for uh, more information on Patreon Gold Group, feel free to click the link in the description below this video. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.